say they're people is some fruit down here. So I get asked by a lot of people, is it expensive to live in Thailand or is it very cheap? So I just wanted to answer this question in this video because I've been living in Thailand for over a year and a half so I have quite a lot of experience with this subject. So yeah, I thought I'd make this for you people that may be wanting to travel here or stay here long term or even for short periods of time or even move here and live here like I do 365 days of the year because yeah, this country is absolutely amazing. It's so hot here. The culture is very nice here. I love the Thai people, very, very friendly and happy. And there's so many other factors as well. Me and my girlfriend actually talk about the pros and cons of living in Thailand, which I put a link down below for that video so you can check that out. It's a very good informational subject so you can get a rough idea of how it would be for you living in Thailand, see whether it's suitable for you or not. So yeah, the first thing I wanna talk about is renting. So renting an apartment or a house or whatever you're looking to live in, it's going to vary in price depending on if you're living more in the city center it's going to cost more the further you go out the city center the cheaper it's going to get so for example i've lived in different apartments that are near the city center that are small studio apartments where you can find anywhere for around three to five thousand baht so it depends what you're looking for. If you want someone that looks more modern, it's gonna cost more. If you want an apartment that's bigger, then it's going to cost more. The more money you spend, the more luxury that you're going to have. But if you go further out of the city, say anywhere from around, let's say six, seven to 10 kilometers, I know people that have been staying in places for around 1,500 to 2,000 baht. And these places are pretty much all Thai people living there, but you sometimes get some foreigners living there as well. But these are the most cheapest basic places you can get. But if that's what you're looking for and you wanna live here dirt cheap, then you can do that. But yeah, you could spend anywhere up to 10,000 baht or more for really, really flash, fancy apartments. But yeah, so you have a choice. You can choose if really expensive or not, or you can meet it halfway in the middle and have somewhere that's middle ground cost. And what I would say is, and what I want to mention as well is about bills. So water rates and electric. So it varies from place to place. Some places are staying for a month and it comes to about 40 to 50 baht, which is around a pound, which is around a, a dollar 50 around that price. So yeah, really, really cheap. But then I've had other places where it could cost me about 20 pounds, which is around $28. But yeah, either cost for those two is a lot cheaper than living back in the UK and the bills. You could spend hundreds of pounds on bills. And internet, you normally do pay for internet usage. You normally get unlimited usage and you could pay anywhere from 100 to 500 baht a month for that. So again, it's going to variate. But yeah, you can shop around and just ask their prices and just compare them and find which one is the best for your needs and also if you want to have a sim card here it's really easy to get they're almost free to buy i can't remember how much they actually are but they're very very cheap so you're not even going to notice that dent in your wallet at all because it's so little and there's loads of different companies that you can buy them from and they help all different types of packages whether you want calls or if you want internet, or you want text messages, or a bundle, it's gonna vary. But for me personally, I just get the one with internet because I pretty much just use it for internet. And I get 18 gigabytes of usage, which I've never used up, and I use it a lot for my businesses and doing research online when I'm out about and contacting some people through Facebook. And that cost me 200 baht. So that's really cheap as well. And what I'll do is for the conversions from baht to USD and pounds, I'll put them down here so you can see them. And for drinking water, which we're gonna be drinking a lot of water out of here because it is very hot, you can get very, very clean reverse osmosis water that's been UV and ozonated, which means it's one of the purest waters in the world at 7-Eleven and it's their own brand. And for about two liters, it's 13 baht, which is just like, wow, that is so good to be able to get such quality water for such cheap price. And 7-Elevens are pretty much on every single street in Thailand. So yeah, you're never gonna be without water. You can always source it from 7-Eleven. And for local transportation, I find that it's really cheap. Not that I've really used it. I may have used it once or twice, but I pretty much cycle about or use a scooter that you can get around town 
anywhere from 20 to 100 baht. So yeah, the travel is really cheap and you can use song towels. They're the cheapest method. They're big red cars and it's like the alternative to buses in most European and Western countries. But if you're interested in renting a scooter, it's very, very cheap. There is a company that delivers to your door, which we use, which I'll put a link down below for their website in the description. And it's run by a foreigner as well, rather than Thais, which I find that you get a better service from the foreigners that are running these scooter rental services. Because some of these companies that are run by Thais will try and rip you off and say that you've done damage and make you pay repairs. And I've heard some sort of horror stories around that. So it's a really trustworthy company. And we've got a basic, I think, 125cc scooter and it's a Honda Click, which you can fit a helmet underneath the seat. We really like it, it works very, very well, and it's very efficient on petrol. And for that to be delivered to our door, and they give you the free helmets and a first aid kit, and including a lock for the wheel, I think that costs us around 3,000 baht a month. So that is a really, really good price. But if you go to some other places, you could pay more than double for it. So yeah, I highly recommend you check out this company. And what I say is, we use this scooter quite a lot and it costs about 100 baht to fill up the whole tank and it can last us anywhere around like five days. So it costs next to nothing. So we don't even notice that dent in our money whatsoever because it's negligible. And last but not least is food because obviously we all eat food. So this is quite an important one to focus upon. So it is gonna vary from person to person depending on what type of diet you eat and also whether you're cooking at home a lot or if you're going out to restaurants and other different vari variables and factors. So what I would say is if you're going to standard Thai restaurants, you can pay for one meal, like a plate of rice with vegetables fried up and all different things added, anywhere from 30 to 50 baht a plate, which is really, really cheap. But if you start going to more westernized restaurants and in the more busier areas, you're going to pay a lot more. So you could pay anywhere from 100 to 200 to 300 baht. So it's all, so it all depends on what you want to eat and where you want to be eating. So you have the choice to pick between which one you want. And also if you're cooking at home, it's really, really, really cheap. You can go to so many different markets, say here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, you can go to Mung Mai Market, it's one of the biggest fresh produce markets, and you can get loads of things to be making foods at home that's really, really cheap. But if you start going to places like Rimping and Tops, it's gonna to start costing you a lot more money, so I do recommend going to the local markets because you can save yourself a lot of money. And you can make massive meals at home for dirt, dirt cheap. So if you have any questions on this, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering your questions. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this with anyone that you think may find this video helpful because yeah, they may learn some valuable information on how cheap it is to live in Thailand and they may be more interested in coming to visit Thailand or staying here long term or even living here. And yeah, please subscribe down below to receive more videos to me on a regular basis talking about topics like this, how to create the life of your dreams and live in Thailand 365 days of the year, how to attract anything that you want in your life and live up to your full potential and so many more things that I have to share with you on my channel that I just love to talk about and what I have basically experienced in my life and learned in my life that I want to share with you people so you can achieve the type of life that I am living in this tropical country just loving life. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.